Spending 100 days in a Minecraft hardcore world is one of the biggest trends in Minecraft history on YouTube. For some reason, these videos keep getting millions and millions of views, and I know for a fact that you guys are wondering, how? Well today in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to talk about why the YouTube algorithm loves it so much, as well as why YouTubers just like doing them. So get ready, because I'm about to tell the secrets of why the 100 day challenge is so popular. So what is the 100 days challenge? Well, well, basically all it is is you play Minecraft for 100 days, obviously Minecraft days, people seem to think for some reason that is 100 real life days, I mean that would take like more than 3 months to make, so no, it's 100 Minecraft days and each day is around 20 minutes, obviously depending if you sleep or not, and basically what you do is you show what you did in that 100 days, for example getting your first tools, going to the nether, killing the ender dragon etc, and usually these 100 day videos have a lot of cinematics and commentary over it rather than actual gameplay and live commentary. This trend was started by Luke the Notable who actually got into a lot of controversy because he tried to trademark the name or the phrase 100 days just because he knew how powerful this video concept is. Eventually he didn't actually go through with the trademark because he realized it's not really a good idea to get into controversy and make everyone hate you and that is why the 100 days phrase is now a trend. Now just quickly I need to explain what I mean by trend. A trend is basically a concept or you know a thing that everyone does just because that one thing is popular and also the audience behind it really enjoys to watch that one thing so it's possible to make a lot of videos about that one thing and that is why I consider a trend. So now why is 100 days so powerful? Why did Luke the Notable come up with the idea of giving yourself a set amount of time or days to play the game and and show what you did in that time. Well, have you ever wondered why, for example, Mr. Beast does things like 24 hour challenges or 50 hour challenges when they're really extreme? For example, the 50 hours buried alive or 50 hours in a jail cell. Have you ever wondered why there's always like a time limit on it? Well, there's a very simple answer and that is to show progression throughout the video. Because everything keeps changing, for example, in the 100 days, you start with just regular wooden tools and then you progress into getting diamond tools because everything keeps changing people want to know what happens next which is why people want to keep watching and this leads to more watch time now watch time is basically how long someone in the audience watches your video before they click off and the higher the average view duration is meaning the higher the length of time that the average person watches that video the more the video gets pushed out because that's what YouTube wants they want people to keep watching YouTube videos rather than going for example to Twitch or you know just getting off of YouTube in general. So that is why the 100 days is so powerful because it shows progression. Now you can have high watch time but you also need something else that the YouTube algorithm really loves and that is good thumbnails. And let me tell you the 100 days trend produced some really cool thumbnails and again these thumbnails show progression. When you look at this thumbnail, for example, you want to see how did this person go from the start to the end? How did this person go from only having stone tools to having full netherite? And this makes it very interesting. And obviously these thumbnails tend to be very bright. And these are some examples. For example, this axolotl one is honestly one of my favorite ones just because it's a bit funny. In the end, general, these thumbnails are really great and it's part of the trend to make these thumbnails, which is why this trend is so popular. Because more people click on these videos because of these thumbnails, and because these videos also have a lot of watch time, when you combine high click-through rates as well as average viewer duration, when you combine the two, the YouTube algorithm will bless you with millions and millions of views, especially when the average viewer duration is like 20 minutes, which it is on these really popular videos. Because if you didn't know, 20 minutes average viewer duration is really, really good. And by the way, I know that most of you probably didn't understand that because well it is like really complicated YouTube things but I love talking about the YouTube algorithm stuff but now let's look at some other factors that contribute to the massive massive growth of this trend and the first factor I want to talk about is that it is very easy to add a twist to it what I mean by this is that obviously if everyone just did 100 days in Minecraft hardcore eventually people will just stop watching because it's the same exact thing but when people for example add mods and the most popular mod is that you turn into 
a mob, you can imagine that every single video has something slightly different about it, which keeps it fresh and original. And that's the other thing that the YouTube algorithm really also likes, and that is to keep things different because the algorithm doesn't want people to watch the same exact thing over and over again. So when it's different, people will watch. I mean, think about it. Would you watch these video ideas? And by the way, I'm coming up with them on the spot. I don't even have them on my script. Okay, for example, 100 days but you are Iron Man or 100 days but you can't heal. I don't know, that might be a dumb idea, but it just kind of shows you how easy it is to make these kind of spin-offs of the original idea. By the way, those are free ideas. I'm not going to do them. So if you want to do them, why not? That being said, let's go on to the next factor that I think is really important. And that is that there's fairly low competition. Now, obviously, because it's a trend, there's lots and lots of people doing it, but only the best will actually pop off. For example, yes, there's lots of people doing 100 days in hardcore Minecraft, and that's it, there's no spin-off, but there's not a lot of people, for example, making, as I said, 100 days by your Iron Man. And because that's an original idea, while still being in a trend, in theory, that is still very low competition because you're basically the first one to do it. And also, I think that the fact that, as I said before, there's cinematics and commentary over the gameplay is also a big factor for this trend's success because, first of all, it's something different. I mean, going from, like, 2015 type of content, you know, like, stamp well, there's not many edits, you know, it's just commentary over gameplay and then go into this like really cinematics like replay mod and everything like that special effects editing just makes the viewer feel refreshed compared to all the other stuff and because it's different it leads to the people wanting to watch for longer which obviously leads to more average viewer duration and obviously it's just more entertaining. I feel like people really like watching like nice drone footage and stuff like that and because it's more entertaining people will just choose to watch that over a boring gameplay video and i think this is because of the show not tell trick i personally do this for example by talking about wherever i'm talking about but i also put images in front of the parkour so that you see it and you actually think about it in your brain rather than just listening to me and getting bored so remember show not tell so now that i've talked about all these factors i just want to kind of think about and talk about I should say will this trend ever die because trends come and go all the time on YouTube it feels like TikTok reaction videos used to be way more popular than they are now which is I mean it's kind of true so will this trend ever die and I think yes eventually it will probably die but one not in the very near future like at all it's going to be quite far into the future because number one, because there's so many ideas you can spin off of, you can always make it new and fresh. But at the same time, I feel like people will just get bored of the concept of playing Minecraft for 100 days and it's a spin. Unless there's some like really cool innovation, I feel like the trend will eventually just get boring. And also, obviously, there might be a new trend. For example, I mean, let's just say Minecraft Manhunt wasn't a thing and then suddenly there's a new Minecraft Manhunt challenge out of nowhere and people choose to watch that over the 100 days videos. Not only people just not watch 100 days challenges, but the YouTubers themselves are also going to switch over to Manhunt. But with that being said, I think there's always going to be something that has that time limit whether it's 24 hour challenges or something similar i feel like there's always going to be that trend of using time as the main idea for the video so yeah in conclusion the reason why the 100 days challenge is so popular on youtube is because the youtube algorithm just absolutely loves it it's quite hard to copy because while well, it takes quite long to actually make that kind of video i mean recording itself takes a long time because it is 100 days after all assuming you did it legit obviously and there's also low competition for the most part so yeah, if you enjoyed this video then subscribe maybe like and watch this video on screen right now i think you'll really like it with that being said i'll see you next time